guys, it's Alicia from Our Warms the Nursery. Today I'm going to read you a story and it's Charlie Cook's favourite book. Once upon a time there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cosy chair and read his favourite book. About a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest and in it was a book. About a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, who's had our porridge? Who's been sitting on our chairs? They went into the bedroom and baby bear said, look, she's in my bed and what is more, she's got my favorite book. About Sir Percy Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight, who told the dragon, wait, I'm not quite ready for a fight. You must hear this one first, and then his armour clanked and shook. As he read aloud a joke he'd found inside his favourite book. About Rowena Redalot, a very well-read frog, who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log, then jumped into the library which stood beside the brook and went, read it, read it, read it, as she jumped upon a book. About an oak tree full of birds, each bird had built a nest, and they had a competition to decide which one was best. They chose an owl to judge it, and the winner was a rook, whose nest was lined with pages from his very favourite book. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky, some small green men were in it, and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, look, mum, what I've just seen. But mum said, hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. About a wicked jewel thief who'd stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep which slowed his car right down. The king dialed 999 and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison where he read his favourite book. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try to find some other kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and he there grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a very large encyclopedia. About the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen, a team of royal cake makers had made it for the Queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter, he also took a book. About a ghost who glided round a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up till morning, then she found a shady nook and put her head back on again and read her favourite book. About a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope to see you soon. Bye!